in between Phil recording the vocal track for the the uh, the song yesterday and mm-hmm. us recording the vocal tracks for midweek midcard matchups yesterday, we we're outside in the back at my house uh, smoking cigarettes. As we are want to do, as, uh, pretty as often. As we are want to do, yes. Yep. And uh, we're out there. We're just uh, out there fucking around, bullshitting like we normally do out there, smoking cigarettes, cracking jokes, and blah blah blah. And while we're standing there, we see a big, f- bright flash. I mean, I mean, bright. Like, made us yeah. both stop and turn around. Like, lightning doesn't usually go this bright. Pow! Big flash. Yeah, it was bright. It was white. Flash, and dude. I mean was... white, like 5,600 degrees, pure white flash, no color to it whatsoever. Bam! We go, we both go, what the fuck was that? And then we're listening, and we don't, we don't hear any, you know, if it's lightning and it's, if it's that bright, it's close. You're gonna hear thunder immediately. We didn't, so we're yeah. waiting a couple seconds, going, what the fuck was that? And I go, was that lightning or what was that? And then several seconds later, we hear. Kinda sounds like super distant thunder, and we both were yeah. like, "God, that's too far away for how bright that was." And the, and it, was the it was long. It was like eight seconds of <laughs> that we heard. And it way got off stronger as it went. Yeah, it was very strange. And we're standing there, and I go, "What the fuck? Was that a fucking explosion? You know, like uh huh." That's not lightning. The way that sounded, that's like something blew the fuck up. And just the part that was a coincidence, right at that time, a fucking low-flying private plane went over the house and shit. (laughs) It's true. Phil goes, it's the Chinese. (laughs) (laughs) It's like uh, they know. They're stopping the fright power hour tomorrow. They can hear us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're both like, God damn, what? Something must have blown up. And, you know, we have a lot of uh, uh, power plants and this and that here in Texas. A lot of natural gas stuff. I said, I don't know, maybe something like that blew up. Can't tell what the fuck it was. Turns out today, boop, we were right. At least six people hospitalized after natural gas explosion and fire in Texas. Bam. This is uh, a ways oh north from where I live. But this is what we saw. The time and the place is right, man. And look at this. Right right by your neighborhood. It must have gave those motherfuckers suntans. God damn. Holy shit, man. I know exactly where that is. I know right where that is. I've been by that neighborhood, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be goddamn, you know? We saw that Uh, shit, G. Well, luckily we were far enough away, dude. Nothing happened. Shit like that will make you want to fucking smoke a bowl. And a lot of people will help you facilitate that in today's America. But, you know, enough's never enough for some people. Girl Scouts are suspended from sales outside of a marijuana dispensary after a misunderstanding. Now, first things first, if you're in the Girl Scout racket... Holy shit, staying outside a dispensary, that's a fu- that's that's brilliant. Genius. I know they've been doing that a few Genius. years already, but goddamn, that that is a smart fucking move. Well, unfortunately, some people that had their hands on their hips decided to go, well, this is not a business that children can go into, so they shouldn't be out here selling. That was after a weekend where the Girl Scouts sold a thousand boxes of cookies outside of this joint. I bet they did. I bet they shit, fucking of course. did. I want some Samoas and some Thin Mints, man. Let's go. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> you know? And, yeah. Uh, some yeah. people are trying to say, oh, that's not a, a, a business they could go into, so it's not a place that they should be selling cookies. But that's bullshit. Oh, come on. They're on the sidewalk. That's public property. Yeah. You know? And Son it's just medicine, bitch. bro. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Besides, why are we turning down an easy way to increase our gross domestic product? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mexico moves closer to becoming the world's largest legal cannabis market. God damn it, if we'd have just manifested our destiny already, we could be paying for all this stimulus shit real easy. That's so right, we, man. How many times Mexico, have I said it? You mean the deep south? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Deep how many south times have I said it? On a worldwide scale, the United States is merely a teenager in comparison to a lot of the other countries. Now, this shit, China's 5,000 years old, man. So if you're if you're a teenager and you're out of money, what do you do? You fucking sell weed. That's what you fucking do. You can't get a job yet. <laughs> you don't have a car. You can't do anything. But it's good to know that there's always drugs available in America's high schools. That way, these young capitalists can find a way to afford <laughs> to pay for lunch 
when their mom does not give them any money for lunch anymore because now they are older than 12. I'm not saying that that's what happened to me. I am saying that, uh, that it could happen to somebody. Uh, nah, it yeah, certainly yeah, yeah. does not sound like the voice certainly of Certainly not. All I know that. is that if we're going to do that, we're going to need to grow a lot of fucking dope and do it fast. Well, luckily, we got all kind of plans for that shit, man. Scientists Woo! develop an elevator to generate kelp for biofuels four times faster than normal. I feel like it's got to be real easy to just slide that kelp production machine right across, you know, and just uh, towers of fucking weed being grown. How hard yeah. would it be? Now you're taught that's some real hydro right there. I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. I'm just Can saying, just, dude, I'm, is it really so necessary for you to even smoke really weed to understand you, at this man point man. how much it could benefit the United States economy? You know what I mean? Is there really so much risk in your mind, even if you hate marijuana?